Hey everyone, welcome back to Cleaning with Carrie. So today's video is going to be an organize and declutter with me. I'm also going to be sharing my top tips for organizing with kids, things that I've just learned over time, especially since I've been decluttering for a little over a year and a half now. I've definitely learned what works and what doesn't work for our family, but I'm gonna share with you a few ideas in case you may be stuck in a rut and can't figure out where to begin. Hopefully this video helps you out. All right, so today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on my daughter's bedroom. I actually have a bedroom makeover coming up on this room. I will be doing some painting and a whole new bedroom refresh. So in order to do that, I really wanted to have a clean, organized space to start with. So my main focus today is this bedroom, but I will be working on my son's room as well. Got me up all night Putting things on the side What do you have in mind? She's awake all the time What are you trying to find? I hope this ain't a lie Cause I'm vibing with all we have Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now I'm laying down on the ground All I do is thinking out loud yeah, I'm vibing with all we have I'm feeling what we are now All I do is thinking out loud Cause I'm running with these emotions Stumbling out of bed One hell of a roller coaster You messing with my head I'm ending up so clueless What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions So many of you may have noticed that I skipped a week last week. I did not post a cleaning video. I was originally going to film all of this last week, but life got busy. Easter weekend was crazy, a lot of stuff going on. So I never ended up filming. So I'm kind of playing catch up a little bit. And in my previous video though, the last one that I posted, I mentioned that I came up with this genius declutter idea. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it was genius now that I'm actually like doing it, but it did work. So I'm gonna share with you what I did today. I'm not sure if anyone else has ever done this on YouTube. I have no idea. I tried to look it up and I can't find anyone who has done this particular type of cleaning. So I'm not taking credit for this, but I'm just saying this was just, this was my idea. So basically my goal was to take everything out. So anything that technically did not have a home, I had one large container and I filled that container up with items that didn't have a spot. So that is what this entire bin is filled up with just random things that are just kind of stashed anywhere in the room and it doesn't really function it doesn't work well I put all of that in one container and I'm basically going to pack up her room as if we are moving move it all out of the house or out of the bedroom not out of the house that's too far move it out of the bedroom so I can kind of start fresh kind of like when you first buy a house and you get to move in all the stuff brand new and it just feels so good to have a clean empty space and if you you know, unpack it the right way, making sure everything has a home, everything can be very functional. But if you're anything like me and you kind of just shove things in corners or wherever it'll fit, then you end up with a situation like we're in now where our house is just not functioning properly. So my goal was to kind of just have a start over moment, pack the whole room up, move everything out, and then move everything back in one by one.
Okay, so, so far, both nightstands are empty. I have all of the things that don't have a home right here in the center. I'm gonna be carrying those out in just a second. Her dollhouse is right here with all the things that belongs to the dollhouse, so that's gonna stay. Um, I have all the stuff piled up out there, and then I have the dresser here, the broom, tripod, and some dirty clothes. But other than that, um, the room has been kind of cleared out in a sense. Like, I was going to originally take all the furniture out, which I think would be really great to just have, like, a fresh start. But here's what I'm going to do, because I really want to get a deep clean on the floors and want well, to wipe down the baseboards and stuff. So what I did was I just took out all of the little things, the things that we needed to go through, and then like the bigger furniture, like the nightstands, the bed, the dollhouse, and dresser, I kind of just moved those around so I can mop and sweep behind everything and clean the baseboards really good. That way the whole room is nice and fresh and clean, so like a really good spring cleaning, which was very, very desperately needed in this space. Whenever we originally switched our bedrooms, if y'all might remember, this used to be the master bedroom. Um, it's not technically the master bedroom. It was my daughter's room originally, and then we switched the rooms due to the size of, it's a whole story. <laughs> um, but anyway, I never deep cleaned whenever we put all her stuff in here, just because it was, when you're moving two bedrooms, it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff. Um, so I would definitely recommend if you are going to do this, Focus on one little space at a time. Even if you start with one half of the room at a time, try not to overwhelm your space or overwhelm yourself because then I feel like it just turns into one of those moments where you start and you're like, why did I get myself into this? I cannot tell you how many times I've done that. I even did that with this on this day, believe it or not. I got everything out and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm wore out just from getting everything out. But once I got in the groove of going through everything, it made a huge difference doing it this way versus me like sitting on her floor and trying to find spots for everything. Taking it all out really just made us realize that, okay, we really don't need all this stuff in this room. It just has accumulated and we've made homes for some things like shove stuff in the nightstands on top of the dollhouse in like little cubbies that we find. But in reality, those things are really never touched and never used. So getting them all out of the, ho out of the bedroom even though it was a lot of work, I feel like it was so necessary to kind of have that separation from things you actually need and things you don't. By the way, in just a few minutes, I will be going over my other tips with decluttering and organizing with kids. Um, I know how hard it can be when your kids are at home with you or trying to help you, and I know that can be like a daunting challenge, but hopefully these tips will kind of give you some ideas and help you out a little bit. Are you supervising? Huh? Okay, current situation is um, chaos. <laughs> um, actually, it's really not bad at all. We, or I kind of cleaned everything out of the room. Um, I left her bed as is for now, but I'm gonna take the curtains down, wash those, clean the baseboards, mop the floors real good. I have all the furniture kind of stacked up right here. These two nightstands are empty, but I'm about to do a makeover on those, so I don't wanna fill them with anything yet. Um, and so my plan is to declutter what I have, go through it, minimalize all this stuff out here, excuse me, out here. That way, whenever the makeover is done, I can just add, you know, what we're actually keeping back into the room and it should have a home. If it does not have a home, then we got to find a home for it. And if we can't and it doesn't function for us, then we are going to either donate it or take it up to the ranch. Um, and obviously that will all depend on, you know, my daughter's choice. I mean, I want her to have a say in this too, so she'll get to choose between donating or keeping it and taking it to the ranch. That way it can have a better use than just sitting in the drawers and not being used. So that's the plan. Um, so I'm going to get busy on cleaning the floors and mopping, and then that will be it for this room. I have to declutter those bins.
So I started off by cleaning the baseboards just using some pine glow inside of a older spray bottle that I have. Just an old rag and I'm just going to clean the baseboards really good. You will notice that these walls are painted with flat paint so anytime you try to scrub on the flat paint it makes the watermark. It does go away. I don't know if this is like special paint or something. I was very surprised because usually flat paint you're, you really cannot wipe it down. However, the spots did go away, they dried, and the, the wall looked brand new. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you why that worked for me. I don't recommend. If you have flat painted walls, do not do that because it will stain your wall. I just, I think, I honestly think the previous owner mixed paints together and made his own paint. I'm starting to think that because... I've even tried to eggshell finish on my living room and it doesn't match the sheen of my living room. I don't know what this guy did, but... Anyway, um, after getting all of the floors mopped, I'm actually using bleach. Um, I don't always do this. I just use like a tiny bit of bleach sometimes, but yeah, I don't recommend doing that on a regular basis. I just, like I said, I wanted to get a really good disinfectant clean and I switched to the mop because I wanted to do the bleach. I was originally using the Bissell Crosswave and then I was like, no, I really want to bleach these floors today. So <laughs> I put that up and went ahead and went in with my O Cedar mop with a splash of bleach and water and got the bedroom disinfected for sure and nice and clean. Life. Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on Swing it down in life, you know We know that for a minute Yeah Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Alright, so here's a quick overview of the room. As you can see, there is nothing in here except for the furniture and the one doll house. That's the only toy that's in the room, which is super nice because now we get a fresh start. So we're going to move out to the living room and start sorting through all the toys. Now, this bin was all of the little trinkets. So all of the bows, all of the Barbie doll stuff, all those little things that get messy so fast. So I'm going to sit down and help her finish sorting through this stuff. And originally, I gave her a few goals to achieve and that is one of my tips for you guys is to give your kids little goals so I gave her two little bins and I said okay fill this one all the way up with as many bows as you can and fill this one up with as much Barbie stuff as you can find and she was out there watching TV working hard and it just made it enjoyable for both of us so it's not only is it helping me but she gets to be a part of it and feel like I'm not just going through all her stuff by myself she gets to choose and you know kind of help me out a little bit as far as my son's age, he's not interested in decluttering. He's like, I don't care. Just give me my toys and let me go play. Um, so for him, what I usually do is I'll say, okay, can you pick out five of your favorite trucks, five of your favorite cars? Um, show me which ones are your favorite colors. And I kind of try to make it you know, fit around his age. Something else, and I've mentioned this before in the past, I don't know if y'all have ever done this, but I have let my kids kind of sell their stuff to me. <laughs> Sounds funny, but my kids love yard sales. We go yard selling all the time, and I will let them have a yard sale. So if they want to earn some money, I'm like, okay, we'll go find some things that you don't want anymore, like old toys, and I'll buy them from you, and you can earn a little bit of money for a new toy. So they'll go in their room, and they'll gather up things in a, in a Walmart bag, and toys that they no longer play with usually is what they'll bring to me. If Obviously, if they bring something that I know they love, I'm like, oh, let's go find something else. But I will buy them from them with change, and it helps them. Not only do they feel like they're a part of it, but they get to earn a little something in exchange for the toys that they no longer actually play with. Um, and you'll be surprised how many toys they will give up pretty quick for some ice cream or a little bit of money. <laughs> so I, um, I always find that really fun for them. It's also a great learning experience, especially if you are a homeschool parent and you kind of, you know, get in those little homeschooling ruts where you don't really know any creative ways for them to learn. 
try doing that. Try having them like set up a little yard sale with their older toys or older clothes that no longer fit them and really teach them the value of a dollar. It's, it's a lot of fun and they, my kids always enjoy it. But here's a quick overview of the toys that we were able to narrow down and, you know, keep. So these I just lined up right here in my daughter's room. I'm not putting them away just yet. Like I said, I have that makeover coming up. But this is an overview of all the things that we are decluttering. And then in this bin right here, this is going to be toys for rotation. So extra books, a few extra baby dolls. So that way when the ones that she has out get a little boring, we can just grab from this container and, you know, just kind of have like a little rotating system. Okay, so I'm now in my son's room, and I'm going to do his room a little bit different. He doesn't have as much stuff, and his room is pretty organized, um, other than all his drawers are wide open. <laughs> um, but I recently went through his closet and got rid of a lot of stuff. We just have a little bit of things in here, but that stuff's fine. Um, it's what's in this bin and everything that kind of just gets thrown around. The books especially, you can see they never end up right, so I'm just going to pick out a handful of them and the rest I'm going to put in this bin but this bin is going to go underneath his bed and he's never going to know because I'm going to do this before he wakes up. So as soon as I said that he was going to be asleep for a little bit longer and I was going to try to hurry up and get it done, he woke up. But it's okay um, because he was still kind of tired, so he went and laid back down on the couch while I finished up sorting through all his stuff. And the reason I did this without him in here today was because I really wanted to organize everything. And sometimes it's hard when you have like your little ones grabbing at the things you're trying to organize because they start seeing toys that they want to play with and they take off with it and then they come back and they grab a new toy and you're trying to like figure out a good system so you kind of need all the things in front of you not spread out through the house so it's easier if I do this during nap time whenever he's not in here so I can get everything sorted out and in a way that I know it's going to work and function for him too and be easy for him to clean and that is another reason why I decided to start doing the rotation system so I actually follow the minimal mom. I've talked about her on my channel before and I'll link it below. Her name is Dawn and she always talks about how if you have less inventory, your life is just like a lot less stressful and your kids don't need to have a hundred books or a hundred different cars. You know, they're only one little person and I truly believe that. If the less you have, the easier life seems to be. So this is hopefully going to help us a lot and I have noticed that since decluttering are starting to declutter about a year and a half ago. Um, it has been a lot easier to clean up and get things tidy a lot faster. And I'm hoping to just only get better with time and to keep finding more of those intentional toys, not all those random ones that end up at the bottom of the toy box. Okay, so now this is how I have it set up. So I took away quite a few books. That way they weren't, we don't have to worry about them getting all messy. We can choose from these. When these get boring, we'll rotate them. Um, in here, I have all of his cars and like kind of like little action figure people. He's got like a little um, emergency kit, like some tools and a flashlight and stuff. And then his drawing board. What in the world are these called again? I cannot remember. Anyway, he's got that. Um, and then all of his Nerf toys. His bedding and all, oops, jeez Louise, I almost fell. <laughs> his bedding is on the couch. He's watching TV right now. But he's also got his kitchen over here. All the food in there. His random remote that he wants to save. A little bit more food back there that I didn't organize, but it's fine. Um, he also has one of my kitchen spoons. His hats. And then his closet is pretty decent. It's not, I mean, it could be better. There's a shirt down here, I think. Oh. Yeah, so his closet's okay. I do need to do a closet system in here that's a little bit more functional, but right now I am storing a few things in here. Some shelving that I'm going to be using in here soon. The dog's kennel until I can take it outside. Right now I just don't feel like it. So, And then this is all the stuff that we are getting rid of. So a huge dresser, some trucks, some books, um, a lamp, the lampshade I'm not getting rid of, but in some of these toys we're going to be taking up to the ranch just so the kids have something to play with up there. But it feels good to kind of have less things, and now that everything's organized, the new system should work pretty well. Okay, 
So now that I've gotten the rooms pretty much cleaned up, my daughter's room is a hot mess right now just because I gotta paint and do all the things. There's no point in me really setting it up right now, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some motivation or some decluttering ideas, especially if you have young children. I know it's tough, but over time it does get easier. I definitely feel like, um, I don't know, if you like go back on my channel like a year, year and a half ago, I first started decluttering and I remember like having so much more stuff. Like now, decluttering is so much faster and easier. I can get it done in one day. Before, it took me days to get it done. So I definitely can tell a difference. I still have a lot of improvements to make and stuff, but I'm getting there. <laughs> it's all a work in progress. And um, just keep that in mind. You're not going to get it overnight. It takes a lot of time. But anyway, I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.